son of a... Oh, Lord. Help! Help! One of our viewers has suggested the controversial Hydro mod, and now has come the time for me to attempt it. I have done my research and bought all of the right materials, so let's hope for the best. To be as low risk as possible, I've opted to use my Casio W217H for a few reasons. First of all, there's already something on the inside of the lens, as you can see just there, which I needed to open to dust it out anyway. And secondly, this is quite an affordable watch, so if it gets broken, it's not really the end of the world. And most importantly, this watch has a massively big cavity between the lens and the screen there, so I figured it would be a perfect candidate for a hydro mod. And a hydro mod involves filling up this internal cavity with a special type of oil in order to increase the visibility and viewing angles of the display, as well as improving its water resistance rating. So, with our before viewing angle out of the way, let's see if we can make a noticeable difference. <laughs> it is critically important that the oil we use is non-conductive with the electronic components inside this watch, which is why I've chosen a silicon oil, and you want it to be a low viscosity oil, ideally 80 CST or below. The lowest I could find for myself was 100. However, I'll make a list of appropriate oils and leave a link for you in the description below. The first thing I'll do is remove the straps using a standard spring bar removal tool. There is our module. And here's our little spring, which we do not want to lose that. That's what causes the alarm to sound. By the way, guys, while we do have this module out, I am going to let curiosity get the better of me and actually crack it open to see the motherboard because what we found out in our last video with our modding the W800H is that you can actually potentially enable features by soldering the board. So let's have a quick look. Nah. Looks like the board is completely different. Oh well, always good to have a look inside. Let's get it back together. Now, instead of just using a normal tray, I had this idea to use this sort of, um, it's, like a, it's like a vibrating cleaner. Okay, so what my theory is, is that putting some of the oil in here, if there's any bubbles, we can then just turn this on and hopefully rumble those away. So let's get the case in. We'll uh, hopefully use these to get some of the bubbles out too. Alrighty, I am excited. Let's get some of this oil into the bath here and uh, see how we go. Alright, now as you can see, there are definitely a few little bubbles in there. So why don't we turn this vibration on and hopefully that'll rumble them out from near the lens. If you're enjoying the video so far, please don't forget to ram that like button. Now let's get this module installed. All right, now we are gonna reuse all of this oil, so I may as well top it up just to make installing the case back a little bit easier if we have a little bit more volume in here. Uh-oh. Now let's get this case back back on. Now I might submerge it first, get a coating on it. Oh no, we do have a bubble. Blast. All 
All right, reassembly take two. Let's take a look. Oh, well, hello there. There's still a few little bubbles actually, but oh crap, and the buttons. This is a disaster. These buttons cannot be pressed. And look at those bubbles in there, my God. This is a lot harder than I thought, guys. Not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. Son of a please, please, please. Oh, yes. That looks good. Can even hear it. Okay. This is, this is looking good. I mean, for some reason, this button isn't really pressed out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look, I've literally, oh, the gasket has been pinched. We're going to have to take this all, oh, we're going to have to take it all apart, guys. Unfortunate indeed. This is looking real good, guys. Yes. All right, I'm going to go get this cleaned up and then we are going to reassemble. All right, now, as I mentioned, we are gonna try and salvage this oil again because it was quite expensive and I do have other hydro mods I'd like to attempt. So to do so, we're just gonna put a cotton, cotton ball here into one of our syringes and uh, just slurp it through this and this will keep it nice and clean and make sure it's ready to reuse. Okay, hopefully this is gonna work. Just put a bit of cotton there, and then I guess just we'll just pour this in. Oh Lord! Oh no! What have I done? Help! 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 <laughs> oh no! You know what? I think we're just gonna have to pull the plug literally because that is not happening. Oh Lord! Probably gonna ha I'm just going to have to buy more oil, guys. This has been befouled. Let's face it. Smash the like button if you've enjoyed the video so far. And now we're going to go through some lessons learned before we reassemble this watch and then do a wrist check of the clarity. So first of all, I think that using this vibrating tray was a mistake. The vibration didn't really help at all for a start, but secondly, it was just, it had too much volume, so I had to use up way too much oil to use it. So I will not be using this again in the future. Lesson number two is to make sure that I have more oil so that I have sufficient to overdo it without worrying about losing some because it's inevitable. And uh, so I will have to buy some more of this oil in the future. And lastly, next time I am going to wear some rubber gloves because absolutely everything got super dirty and I've now had to wash it with detergent and all of my tools are now drying as we speak. Let's get this all back together and make sure you're a subscriber so you don't miss out on our next cool watch mods and reviews. Let's take off the watch I'm currently wearing, which is this DW6900, which was a great watch of the week episode if you want to check that one out. And let's get this hydro modded watch on and ready for a wrist reveal. Ready? Here we go. Boom. Let's polish this a bit first. That's still very greasy, much like all my tools. That's better. Now, what do you think? Let's have a look at the viewing angle, shall we? So let's give it a tilt. Still very visible. Hmm. It's not as pronounced. Okay, let's take it off. It's not as pronounced as I would have thought, the uh, the better viewing angle, but it's definitely... Oh, yeah, look at that. You can see it even from a very steep side angle. So I'll put up the before footage now for you to compare to, and this is the after. 
Now, of course, we'll make sure that all of the buttons are still working. You can probably hear that beeping as well. What do you think? That looks pretty damn clear in the dark, to be honest. And yeah, we definitely did improve the clarity with this angle, but to be honest, guys, I'm not really sure it was worth it. It took hours of work and a lot of hassle. And uh, although it's improved the water resistance rating, 50 meters really is more than enough for me. So I'd love to hear your opinion in the comments below. What did you think of the Hydro Mod? Have you ever done one? How did it go? I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you know any other Casio fans or people who like modding watches, make sure you share this video with them. Here's our Watch of the Week playlist and a related video for you to watch next. Thanks to our Goat Crew channel members and here's a link to join us. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next review.